classifying matter. All matter can be classified into two groups, mixtures and pure substances. This is now kind of recapping some stuff that you learned back in grade 9. A mixture is a physical combination of two or more kinds of matter. Soil is a mixture of sand, clay, silt, and decomposed leaves in animal bodies. Okay. I remember decomposition in ecology last year, right? There's dead matter uh, of organisms where, you know, we're recycling whatever nutrients are still left over. Okay, that's what's, what's found within the soil. So within mixtures, you have either a homogeneous or a heterogeneous mixture. So mixtures in which the different components are clearly visible is heterogeneous, where you can literally see the two things that you mixed together. So try mixing a, you know, a beaker of water with a you know, um, spoonful of sand. Try to mix it and really mix it. You'll, see, you'll be able to see the two, um, the two different uh, substances. We think about the assignment that I gave you guys that um, uh, last class, where you were asked to separate the two substances. And by knowing their chemical physical properties would allow you to figure out how to go about separating them. Right? Because some of them were obvious differences. Others weren't. If you had a beaker of water that had salt in it, how would you know if you didn't taste it? You look at the beaker of water that has the salt in it, for all you know, it could be water. Okay? So, uh, mixtures in which the components are blended together that it looks like one substance is called homogeneous mixture. Examples, clean air, salt water, grape juice. Um, so, it's pretty much where the consistency is the same throughout, even if you let it sit, right? Will it still be in the same composition? Because there's some mixtures that might give that appearance, but you let it sit, and then the particles start to separate. Okay, if you've ever had um, things that you, you, you think about paint, right? You gotta shake that yeah. in order to, to paint. You let, let it sit, you know, for a while. You get it done, you have to go back to reshake it again when you're ready to use it. Pure substance has a definite composition which stays the same in response. So we think about elements. Water, sodium, carbon dioxide, gold, pure substances. Okay. Where it's pretty much the smallest that it could possibly be on any level. So the smallest particle of water is H2O. Yes, there's hydrogen and oxygen, but water itself is considered a pure substance. There's nothing else really mixed in with that actual molecule of H2O. All right. So let's look at uh, pure substances and expand on pure substances. Pure substances can be classified as either elements or compounds. An element is a pure substance that cannot be separated chemically into any simpler substance. So an element, think about all the elements in the periodic table. That is the smallest pure substance. Okay, and I gave a couple of examples. Gold, copper, sodium, oxygen. Okay, so any isolated element on the periodic table. So we look at the periodic table, we take any element there, any one of those are considered elements. Hence the name periodic table of elements. Okay. Now a compound is a pure substance that results when two or more elements are combined chemically to form a different substance. So we have two elements here, carbon and oxygen, to form one compound of carbon dioxide. We have two elements here with H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. They form a compound of water. But it's composed of two elements, but three atoms. Right. So we look at H2O. We have an oxygen bonded to two hydrogens. We have two elements. Okay. We have two elements, and those are... Hydrogen, oxygen. We have how many hydrogens? Well, we have two hydrogens, one oxygen, but that's counting the molecule, or counting the, co the, uh, the compound as atoms. So it has a total of three atoms. We're looking at the two elements, but how many of each element do we have? And we're looking at it in terms of an atomic level. Okay, so the breakdown of matter. So matter breaks down into a pure substance and a mixture. Right? So for us to go from a mixture 
to the pure substance is a physical separation. Okay? So we look at a mixture of salt and water. Okay? Salt and water. And we know that salt is NaCl. We know water, H2O. Okay? Can we see this mixture? No, so it's considered homogeneous. It's the same throughout. If you took a sip of salt water from the top, the middle, the bottom, it will all taste the same. It's the same throughout. Okay, so salt and water mixture, homogeneous. But if we did a physical separation of it, we separate it into the two pure substances, which are NaCl and H2O. We look at it in terms of, they're both considered compounds, but if we break it apart, which is a chemical reaction, to break apart these, the elements we have are Na, we have Cl, we have hydrogen, and we have oxygen. So that's how we look at this, this chart. That's how we look at the, pretty much, uh, the identification of matter and then breaking it apart into the, um, the various other categories.